What would the anthrid have planned when he got some sand and some rocks? Yep, yep, yep. Got these totes here. Some lids, this will be explained later. Yep, some totes, some line, and supplies. All kinds of supplies here. Okay, so what we're gonna build is a basic um, gray water filtering system for the RV. Step one so far, I have taken those uh, lids, cut them down to size. I'm gonna use them as a divider in there. Water can still flow underneath it and over it. Putting one in each one, We're just waiting for the glue to dry. I had to put a little weight on there to make them do what I wanna do. But in about 30 minutes, I think we can move on to step two. Bang! This project just got interrupted. Got hit by a monsoon here. I can't even see outside the, the tent here over at the trailer. Holy cow. It's coming down like madhouse out there. Woo! This chair is fucked for now. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, and I have to go run and get my drill, but I think I'm just gonna kinda wait this out. Oh man, I'm getting wet. It's just coming in everywhere. Holy shit, I'm just gonna drink beer while I work on my project here. Oh my goodness, it's everywhere. It's actually puddling up out there. Woo! There we go. I put in some of the uh, large river rock as my, as my base in there. Now it's done raining. It's still kind of dribbling. There's water everywhere. Everything's flooded. Look at this. It's a mess. But why is it every time Anthro's got a project, it's got to rain, right? All right. So next we're going to go for the drainage rock layer. Drainage rock is in there. Look at that. Hmm. Getting a little bit full here. It's taking a little bit more. I guess these five gallon bins are a little bit uh, smaller than I thought. Because I still got to put my sand in here. But I think at this point, I'm going to now drill my holes between them before I move any further. I think this will work, but this is where the main part, um, main lid um, RV hose goes into this side. Water is going to filter out over here. Come into this one at a higher point and exit it at a lower point. Don't know, man, don't know. But uh, I think I'm ready for um, sand now. I now got my pipelines or my connectors. Got them all glued in there. I just now need to wait the 30 minutes like I did before, before I can move on to the next step. Waiting for that to dry. I don't know how dry it's gonna get because we're getting wave two here. Everything's like mud out there because that sand is turning into mud. Holy cow. Um, I actually think today is today. The... Yeah. Well, one day after our two month anniversary of living up here, and I have not seen a drop of rain. And it reminds me of like the Midwest. Montana was like this most of the year. But holy cow, I'm trying to work on a project here and, and out of two months, it decides to finally rain. Now the question is how much my rain gauge will catch. I'm kind of curious to see what it scales on the uh, weather station. See how much rain we got. Because right now I can see why rainwater harvesting, capturing, or whatever they call it, would be perfect right now. Although you wouldn't want to use the outdoor toilet. I think it's done for now. Looks like uh, some sun's on our way. I can see it coming over the mountains. Beautiful. Just beautiful. There we have it. The final layer of sand is installed in the buckets. I even went and uh, grabbed some old socks and some the wife's hair ties to make filters for the in and out areas. I originally was gonna pick some up, but I guess I forgot it in the purchase, but mm, you make things work when you gotta make them work, right? Next, we're gonna try installation now. Whew, I am beat. After about almost an hour and a half of digging, 
you wouldn't think digging small holes would be that bad. But when you start digging out these big bad boys, yeah, all that came out of that hole. It's like, I just need one more inch. And then you yeah, do that. So now, time to work on this side. I'm gonna start to bury these in a little bit, get them positioned a little bit better, but oh, man, that was a workout. Done for what I think I'm gonna do today. Finally got the line coming out of there, into there, going into there. I haven't tested it yet because I gotta take a shower. The shower is the only way to test this system. Um, I installed a valve right here so I can turn it on and off if I need to. And then I ran the big line all the way to the garden area. Right now it's not trenched. So this is a good test of gravity to see if this will work in its current position. Because if it does, when it's, once it's underground, it should work good. But it looks downhill to me. But the only way to really test this is to try it out. And I'm debating right now if I should take the shower and shut off the, uh, the gray water tank here. Just shut it off. And then after the shower, pull it and then see what it's going to do. Right now, just from light use inside the trailer, it has... Oof, been doing that so there is water dripping out of there as you can see but that's just from light use not enough to come up the other side yet um, i think a shower will be the ultimate test here okay i'm taking a break so it's been about a week of testing and everything's working what comes out of there it's fresh clean water as you can see it's creating some nice insect life um, I also installed this little guy, and we can open it, get to the valve. Alrighty, they're getting kind of dirty from the rain, but yes, it's achieving what I want it to do. Next thing is to dig the trench to the garden area, and for the garden area, well, we got a project that you're not going to believe, or you're going to believe, I don't know. But we'll get to that in the next video. This has been Anthony from Anthware, and from this time and every time on, folks, keep on clicking. This is Anthony from Anthware, signing off.